and they're off. They're just heading for some afternoon tea. But good afternoon everyone. So I'm pretty much picking up from where I left off on the last video, which is right here. And I sort of run into a little bit of a problem because this end here wasn't strip sprayed. But I had a meeting with Bills today and we came up with a bit of a solution. So what I'm gonna do is give it time to regrow a little bit and then just spray it out with Roundup up to where it's been sprayed and we're just gonna direct drill straight into it. It'll be sweet as. So that's a pretty easy fix really. And when he sprayed off this paddock as well, he sort of finished here. So there's quite a big distance from where I'm standing to back there. And it does get pretty steep. It is pretty steep through there. But again, I will probably just spray this corner out. So hopefully they can drill from the fence up that way. I'm not too worried if they can't get some of it, but I'd like for them to try and get the stuff down the bottom because if I leave it, it's just gonna go weedy through the summer. So I might as well spray it out anyway. And when it comes time to re-drill grass into here, they can get down here with the drill. So I want them to re-sow this in grass. Because that's the name of the game, I wanna replace the grass that's in this paddock. So it's going into maize first. I might even just run down here too and sort of kill this stuff by the trees. So see, sort of spray stop there, but I reckon they can plant way up here. So try and get a few more plants in because it all makes a difference. So it's probably not the most ideal paddock because there are trees right in the middle of it. And you lose quite a bit of space where you can't drill, but like I said before, this paddock really needs new grass, so that's why I did it. But tomorrow morning we are herd testing, so all the flasks have arrived. All the milk testing stuff set up in the pit out here. We actually don't do this, it is set up when the person that drops all the gear off, they do it. It's part of the service that we pay for, we just have to wash it and get it ready for the next person that receives it. But I've actually changed things up a little bit this year too. So normally we do three herd tests in a season and we usually do them after Christmas or the New Year. So they're always sort of at the end of the season and we've mainly only used the data to, to mainly, I guess, look at like the somatic cell count and cull on that. But this year, I think the herd's sort of at quite a good place. We've been not quite there over the last couple of years and that's why I'm getting back to doing one now that's in peak milk production so we can see which cows are producing really well and which ones aren't and we are going to do another one before Christmas and then there'll be two in the new year sort of towards the end of the season which is mainly sort of to do with sow count when you're when you're going to dry off. It's going to be interesting to see if our PW on the cows change much too because doing the ones late in the season the cows aren't producing as much and it does tell you next to sort of the cow what their or what the records show how much they've produced in the season and I always think they've been way out or they have been because we haven't done that sort of peak milk production test so going forward hopefully they're a little bit more accurate now I was speaking to someone a while back who said they used to do five in a season and it was pretty much bang on to what the cows were producing is what the records actually said so we're only going to do four I don't think we need to do five but it's going to be interesting to see if it or well, the numbers do change at all They did change these phone or touchpad things. They were using a different brand, but it's on 100% power, so that's all right. Probably unplug it. Maybe I should just go through and set up for the morning, though. Today's Wednesday, yes. Previous cups on time was five. I say 10 past five a.m., okay. Just thought I'd pop over and have a look at the carving mob. Well, it's actually just her, but I don't think she'll be too far away. Although I did say that last time, but I reckon the next couple of days, surely. We'll need moving though tomorrow. There's a heap of grass here. But that'll do for today, so I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning.
and we're away first rows on so far so good it's going pretty well it's a little bit or well, the heifers are a little bit flighty when I walk along there and get their numbers but they're not too bad milking all right they uh, they haven't filled them up this much before some of them haven't but like some of them are over half and some of them are even a little bit more like this one here so I'm wondering when the other herd comes in whether they're gonna get them pretty close to the top because they be giving quite a bit more milk I reckon I think for the Frisian guys they actually have longer cups because they obviously give more milk so I don't know whether we'll get them next time during peak or not it'll depend what the next cows are like I, I suppose Plot on doing this herd and then I'll be back once the other herd comes in. Go on gilly gillies. Come on. Come on in. 88. Oh it's just so easy. What are you Gil? 71. 3-2-2. One through one. We're coming in nice and full. Milk's squirting out, so it's a good sign. Look at that, beautiful. Look, Mike's back. He came and got the cows for us this morning. Makes it a little bit easier, so he's not just a builder. <laughs> he's a farmer. <laughs> he's a farmer too. He does everything. He does do everything. And now he's going to be my cameraman too. Starting to settle, oh, that one's nice and full, look at that. Some of them aren't too bad. Oh yeah, or well, maybe none of them will overflow then. Well, we're getting there, so it'll be probably halfway through this herd, maybe a little bit more. But here's this 130, so I quite like this cow, but unfortunately she did rip her teat when she was a heifer. And she got mastitis in the front quarter, which has gone blind now so she is milking out of three and I was wondering how much milk she's giving but she's actually giving more than I thought so it's probably better than some most of them are sitting sort of around that mark so a little bit less but not too bad probably average see that's not too bad that's a little bit lower although she's still got a lot to milk out and a cow like this so She's done pretty well, so she has pretty much filled that flask up. I don't know whether you should change it now, or there's a little bit of room, so maybe I'll just leave it. If you do get cows like that, or you think you are going to overflow it, you can just whack another flask in there and just say that it's an overflow, put its number on that flask too, which I actually did earlier on. We had a heifer that got half milked out, and then she backed out of the row, so we had to put her in twice. So I just put two flasks in and said one was an overflow, which... I could do with that one, but I think she'll be right. I'm just going to leave it. It's pretty full though. Good to see. But if you are wondering how they work, so obviously the milk comes out of the udder, comes up this line here, straight into the meter. And you can see that's the milk going around in there. And it takes a small proportion of this down this little line here. You can kind, I don't know if you can see it, but you can kind, I can see it that there's milk running down the back here and then it drops into this flask here and that's the sample. She's just finished and she pretty much filled that flask up. There'll be a little bit of froth up the top there but good girl. That was a pretty good row that one. So they're all pretty full. There's that real full one there. There's a little bit of left in the top. But I did just bump it before so that's the problem with them being so full and a bit of milk spilt. So it probably will affect the results of those flasks or the cows that get went in those flasks by just a little bit. Probably won't be by much but still. Two more rows to go. This one and then there's one in the yard but he's 52 so this is one of my favourite cows here. 
and she usually doesn't come in at the end she's usually in the first couple of rows so maybe she's coming on heat doesn't look like she's been ridden but she might be coming on The last row's all in now, and let's have a little look because I think 52 has finished. Where is she? She's fourth back. Yep, she's finished milking, and it's not the most milk, but it's up there. Look, this cow here, she has pretty much overflowed that flask. Put a cap on that one, I reckon. So, spilling it. She did pretty well, that cow. So that's all the samples there, ready to be picked up now. I've just come down to feed these calves. Dad's going to whack the water through up there, so that'll take him sort of the same time that it takes me to feed these calves. Then I'll go and help him. We'll pack up all the herd testing gear and then we'll be finished. So it has taken a little bit longer this morning, probably another 20 minutes. But I left the shed and I thought it was quite warm this morning, I won't need my rain jacket, and now it's uh, drizzling. Well, that's not real heavy, but maybe I should have bought it. <laughs> I'll leave them now, they've got milk, they're fed, because I'm going to lock my cows away. Right, so now we'll pack up all this. The flasks are in this tray. Put that on top there. Now I've got to go along and pull off all these hoses. So there's two, that one needs to come off, and so does that one. So everything's pretty tidied up, meters are all on the bench there, this box can, uh, where can I leave this, I was going to leave it on top of there but I might just leave it here, like that, there used to be a sheet in there that you'd have to fill out, um, but it's all good now that it's digital on that meter, or the tablet thingy I should say, uh, hoses are all there, or pipes, everything's good to go, I've just spent a few minutes filling that trailer up with tyres, I think Dad's going to take this one up now and dump it. So we're sort of making progress down here at the at the silage stack. There's still probably another load in there. Plus around the corner, there's a few tyres that I need to pick up as well. But it shouldn't take too long for them to get the results of our herd test back to us. So they'll probably send through a text maybe tomorrow of like the top five highest somatic cell count cows, and then we can go through and have a look because I think we might have a cow with mastitis at the moment maybe because the sow count's been at about a hundred for the last sort of week and then yesterday it jumped or the day before yesterday actually jumped up to about 120 and now it's back down to 83 so the reason it might have jumped and then come back down is because I have been taking out milk for the calves so I could have taken it out yesterday and the cow might have been in that row and that's why it's been uh, or it's gone lower than it has been so it'll be good to get that text, I'd say 130 is probably going to be in the top 5 but it'll be good to see what other cows are in there as well. But it's almost lunchtime, so I'm going to go and grab Nell, take her for a run, we'll go and check on those cows, see if that last one's calved. Had a few people asking where Nell's been. Here she is, so she's a lot bigger than last time she was on camera. She's getting quite big now actually. Hey, come here, here now. Good dog. Cows probably think they're going to be moved now. Sit. Stay there. Just trying to teach her a few manners at the moment. Stay. Art. Like a dog with good manners. But it doesn't look like she has carved, so not today. Maybe tomorrow. Here now. Come here. Here, yeah, good dog. This is one of the old silage stacks we have around, so we don't actually use this one anymore because we don't really make pit silage, and if we did, we'd have to get rid of those 
tyres and put them somewhere else but for now it's a good place to keep them but that'll pretty much do it for this video guys so like always give it a thumbs up that'd be awesome and apart from that I'll see you next time and we are doing something pretty cool or something that I've wanted to do for ages so I'll see you then